we've had to interrupt moving all the locos from the DCC sidings just over there. Sorry, the DC sidings full of DCC locos because we encountered a problem with a three way point um, which can be seen just there. This particular point was causing every loco that went over it to derail because basically that piece of metal just there as it comes flush with the other one well it wasn't coming flush at all and so the flanges of the wheels were hitting it making them derail so that's no good we'll have to look into that so all of the sidings towards the top end well, or bottom end depending on which way you look at it have had to be redone um, as we can see the loading bay is being moved so there's a siding just there big enough for a DMU and then there's two short sidings down there for a couple of small locos and the rest is just being finished off by Craig but I've taken this opportunity to do something quite useful and that's label the sidings as we can see here that siding which is going to be for the Virgin Pendolino is A1 and then A2 is for the Intercity 125 which now has four coaches and then there's A3 and A4 and then B1, B2, B3, B4 and so on and I'll probably do the same thing with the sidings that will come off there I'll do the same thing with the sidings there and the same with the sidings there and all these sidings are going onto maps so that we know which siding is which and which loco needs to go where and I'm just making it up with these um, little cut pieces of card uh, pen and some scissors and it really is as simple as that so when we say the Intercity 125 has got to go into siding A2 or A3 we know exactly where it's going to go so that's good.